and welcome back to some more Range Rounded. Right, I just finished uh, recording the fossil videos. I just need to edit them. I mean, this video is probably gonna come out after, but yeah, me and the wife are currently headed towards Asuris to rest because she needs she needs something. I mean, she has loads of quests over here, so we, we will see. But one thing that I did notice, now I'm back at 19 intelligence again. So, um, oh, hang on, oh, of course, yeah, it's probably because of these things. You'll gain one intelligence for every two levels of flame. Ah, of course, yeah, because the flame hasn't been increased on this thing. Yeah, flame level four, you can still increase it by uh, two more. Okay, okay, so we cracked the mystery. It is because of the world and not because of a bug. Yeah, so me and my wife has, uh, have a little bit of time to play today. Not much, since uh, our daughter is at my brother's house. He does enjoy taking care of our daughter. And his wife is also at home, so hopefully. But yeah, they do have three children of their own, so uh, they're gonna be busy. But since school has started, I mean, they, they do have a little bit of time. Now, I do wonder if my wife has gotten the quest for the fossils. I mean, I could show her the location of all of them. That's a tiger. I wonder if I'm gonna make my wife uh, try to find them on her own. Let's see. Chain lightning. Ow. You little bitch. Ow. Come on then. Push. Ow. There we go. Okay, where did wife go? Wife is over here. Right. But again, she also has the ability to watch my videos if she wants to find them. But even though she's played for quite a bit, I mean, she hasn't even scratched the surface. I mean, she is level 19 now. I'm getting closer and closer to max level. I think that the hollow holes, I mean, they have done something with the leveling, that it gets slower the higher level you are, which I think is good, because right now she is a little bit overleveled to enter the black mire. Uh, but again, we will see. And still, all of the settings are at default, haven't done anything to them. Don't think that we're gonna do that anytime soon. I mean, I might increase some stuff. Not necessarily the yield of resources, but maybe a little bit more mobs. Uh, could, could be annoying. Whoop. And a spark, and a torch, and a spark. And I do have quick charge, don't I? I do. Hmm. Yeah, hopefully they add something more to the mage build. I do want some more spells. Maybe even more eternal spells. I do prefer those rather than collecting. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world to create spells in order to use them, but, you know, it's very fun to just have them in your inventory, and then you can do whatever. Ow. Right, okay, so service to rest. Now there's a fossil, there's lore to, uh, to reach the dragon sword, but my wife has already discovered the dragon sword, and she did that all by herself, I think. If I remember correctly, it's mm, starting to become quite, quite some time ago. Ah, look at this, look at this game! that you can just enter a big-ass town like this. Now, hopefully they add more big towns. I do like those, so that you can just explore. Now, I wonder... I mean, we do have that big floating island over there. If they add more floating stuff, hmm, that could be interesting. Since they removed infinite flying, it could be a little bit more difficult to, to traverse. Oh boy, am I rambling. Who? Well, my uh, skeletons is back to normal. Hang on. Oh, here's a lot of enemies. Ow. I'm not sure how the chain lightning works. Looks like it hits one enemy and then it slowly jumps to another. Yeah, on my wife's screen, my summon is also visible and I just stepped in a bear trap. And I'm a tiny bit of a visual bug, but that's no, no, no issue. Now, I think my wife is searching for, like, the... What was it? The pouch for the farmer? Or maybe the cauldron? I mean, she... Because that drops from the boss over there, and the cauldron is also up over here, so I'm not sure. But again, we're just following the wife. She's the one that's taking the lead. I'm just here for support. Now, let's see. Where did the wife go? The wife is in here. Yes, yeah, you need to put a bell on her. Oh, enemies. Careful, wife. Yeah, they take a few hits. Hmm. I do wonder. I mean, I could spec. I don't need to have all of this defense. And then I could spec more into a mage. I do like fire and also i do like ice hmm yeah i mean we we will see my wife is currently searching for the nursery supplies they're supposed to be up here but again it's not easy to see wasn't there a lore here um, uh, 
I'm fairly sure there was dragon lore here somewhere. Maybe it's one of these books. No? Ah, here is the dragon lore. Yes. Rumors of the dragon shore. But my wife has already found that. Let's see, can I check out the quests that she has? Uh, hmm. Hidden crafting recipes. Hollow halls. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we need to do. And oh, there we go. Nursery supplies. Ah, oh, okay. It was uh, just a note, maybe. Yeah, come on in. Yeah, I'll take you on. Oh, yeah. Range of explosions all around. Not sure where my wife went, but probably somewhere. Yeah, I do have a feeling that there's something hidden inside that thing. Let's see. I think, yeah, my wife is right over there. Oh, you little biscuit. Okay, you can taste some electricity to the face. And another one. Uh, hang on. What happened to my summons again? Now it's just a red blob. Oh. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do that. Right, okay, since my wife is here, I do want to check out what is underneath this thing. Yeah, I mean, that is probably the nursery supplies. Right, right down there, wife. Yep, that's the nursery supplies, all right. Yeah, it was a shocking wand. Not sure how that is useful for any kind of nursery, but yeah, who knows? Maybe, maybe, a, you know, a pacifier for the scavengers. They're, they're a weird bunch. I don't really remember the lore, because the scavengers are obsessed with the elixir, but were they once human? Because of the enshrouded zombies, they're produced by the shroud, like they're plant-based enemies. And yeah, I think that these things are just, well, they're very humanoid. They're purple, according to his feet. He has all of his toes. One, two, three, four, five. Now that's detail. Oh, and speaking of detailed stuff, I have seen a little bit of gameplay of the uh, Monkey King game. Like the Black Wukong something something, Sun Wukong. Oh, I do want to try that out. And since my wife is still on vacation, I technically have time, but again, I would not be able to finish it in one setting, because I think it's close to 10 or maybe 20 hours of gameplay. And especially the way that I play games like that, I mean, it would take quite some time. But maybe, maybe. And it's also expensive. Yeah, 60 bucks. Mm. That's, that's, that's a lot. It's probably worth it. I mean, over 200,000 reviews overwhelmingly positive. That is, uh, that is in fact something. And especially for a Souls like that is, uh, that, that is impressive. To be fair, according to the lore, I've never been too much of a fan of Sun Wukong. I mean, I watched a lot of shows about the Monkey King. They were like, it's it's all about the staff. I don't like the idea of a staff that can change shape. I already have one of those. <laughs> Let's see, where where did the wife go? Hang on. Oh, my wife is dying. No, she's already in the Colosseum. Where's the wife? Oh, the wife is fighting. Uh, let's see. I'm, uh, I'm a healy wife. Oh, okay. My, <laughs> uh, my wife just discovered that there's a boss around here. Okay, let's uh, use one, some of these. Let's just heal her up. Heal her up real good. Don't get caught up in that. Okay, I'm just gonna spend a lot of mana. Okay, my wife is hitting away. Oh, my wife is uh, not having a good time. Yep, dodgy dodgy. I'm not sure how much mana I have, but my wife is just jumping around. <laughs> uh, it's it's a little bit adorable, that it is. Okay, I'm just gonna heal her through all of this. Uh, I don't have infinite mana. I mean, I kinda do. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm... Okay, run away, wife! Ooh, that was a close one. Oh, good god. Okay, heal. Uh, let's see. I'm out of... Oh, well, she did. She done dead, yes, but I think I can just rest her up like a zoo, and then we give her some of these. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was fun. It was very fun for me, not for the wife. <laughs> uh, I don't think she's too used to using dodge roll yet. But she she didn't manage to kill him, or her. I'm not sure what that, uh, that boss is, but uh, who knows. Well, now she got the uh, spice pouch, I think. Let's see, right underneath here there is also a golden chest. I mean, I do enjoy myself some golden chests, so I'm gonna have a look-see. What do we have over here? That's blunt knives. Meh, don't need those. Right, and this place is still covered in red. Yeah, I've seen a video of someone exploring this area, but they were using the cheat and engine. And there's a lot of lore around here. Actually, I think I should just follow the wife. She's on a quest. 
Well, I did a lot of healing, but oh boy, do I lose a lot of mana. But I have fairly good uh, mana regeneration, so that is probably fine. Repair bench. Oh, here's the door. Now we're back here. Right. Well, I do believe what my wife is searching for is the building blocks. Well, they're over here. But again, I think we should just let the wife take the lead. Here we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, it's probably this chest that my wife is searching for. Kind of weird that I don't have the quest, but who knows. Let's see, can the wife get up here all by her lonesome? I mean, maybe? Oh, do you look at that? She took her own way. Impressive. Oh, she did a jumper jack. Not bad. It's getting very dark. Let's see, use one of these. Not only does she have a pocket healer, she has a pocket lantern. Pocket torch. Now it looks like we are done with Sir's threat rest. I mean, there's still plenty of lore and a few more chests and there's also a fossil over here. But again, I'm not sure if there's a reason to collect all of them other than bragging rights. Yeah, I mean, maybe you get some extra experience. I'm not sure. Who knows? But yeah, let's just continue to follow the wife. Ah, home sweet home. Yeah, hang on. I don't think I showcased this. But yeah, I made myself a little bit of a hobbit hole. Not, not too shabby. Some minor stuff that I've collected. Actually, how many? Got 36 comfort level. Hmm. Yeah, I made a bathroom. That helped a lot. I mean, it's not... Uh, it's a little bit cramped, I think. And also, this furnace doesn't make any sense. I mean, it doesn't it does need a chimney. But yeah, it's a cutesy little hobbit hole. My wife also attempted to make a hobbit hole, but it's just a hole. Let's see, it's still... Uh, wasn't there something up here? Is still uh, is this thing still glowing? It is. Why? Yeah, it is glowing. But mm, yeah, strange. I mean, my wife has read that book as well, so who knows? Yeah, my wife has created uh, quite a few more of the magical chests. That is good. You do need one of those. Ah, uh, this game is also so pretty at night. And yeah, one thing. I mean, this series was originally going to be like a tutorial series, but since my wife is uh, well very adept at uh, playing games. I mean, I don't have to really show her anything, but yeah. One thing that you can do, you can place all of these uh, crafting furniture stuff pretty much anywhere. Well, anywhere within the building zone, and it will automatically connect to the work people. So, uh, yeah, that, that's something. I mean, not a bad looking base, I must say. I mean, it's not huge. I mean, the building possibilities in this game is, you know, infinite. But uh, yeah, both me and the wife do prefer a little bit of smaller housing. Well, I think that this should probably do it for today. I mean, my wife is gonna continue to play a little bit, but you know, it's uh, uh, base management stuff. But we need to pick up our daughter in uh, yeah, half an hour or so. So I think that I'm gonna sign off. I'm gonna say, as always, until next time.